Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Look what I got in the mail. And I just got it yesterday or the day before yesterday. And yes, I already opened it because I heard it was going to be really cute. And so I did open it as soon as I got it, but I am going to share it with you now. This month is always, they usually do something for Valentine's Day for the January kit. So here's our, our thank you, like we always get. It has Calypso Coral in it this month. And you know, every month it has a different stamp and spot, so you can collect these and get a full, um, you'll get a different one. If you do it for a year, you get a different one every month, so you have a full um, collection no repeats in a year. So that's our Calypso Coral. Look at the stamp set. How cute. It says, I adore you for an amazing friend. Just a little thanks. It's got some hearts. Happy Valentine's Day. Then a to and from. And an open heart. And then the heart that's love. So cute. So I was not disappointed at all because you know I'm a box and bag person. So look at these. Look how adorable. I'm going to take it out and open it because I didn't even open it. But I did look at it. But let's open it up. And we're going to put probably one together. It was super, super cute. So these kits, for those of you who don't know, uh, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and click on Paper Pumpkin and it will take you where you can subscribe. You can do one month, three months, six months, or a year. And the longer you do it, it is you get a discount. And right now, Stampin' Up! has a sale. And it's normally for three months, it's $59, it's $55. But not only that, but you get to choose a... Um, item from the celebration catalog because this is a purchase of fifty dollars or more so okay I can't seem to get this open there we go so you'll get an extra stamp set or whatever you choose out of the celebration catalog so think about what you want if you're going to do that before you order so we have these little like picks they look like giant toothpicks <laughs> and then this gold thread and we have our dimensionals and our glue dots and you know everything comes in these kits ready to go so here are the little boxes and oh my goodness there's a bunch in here that I bet there's at least 20 in here it looks like it so we have some hearts to stamp on. I hope you can see that. And then these are some little arrow ends that are gold. And then we have these banners. There's a bunch of those too. And then these, I'm not even exactly sure what these are. Oh, they're little hearts. And then we have some vellum banners look how cute I love these vellum banners those are cute and then some more gold hearts and then you always get step-by-step -step instructions so see if you could see it better there without the reflection of the cellophane on it look how adorable these are they're so cute let me see what it says is included in here okay Adoring Arrow Photopolymer Stamp Set, the Calypso Coral Stampin' Spot, 24 gold foil food safe treat bags. Awesome. You notice they said food safe, and I love that because, you know, some things that you buy, you need to be really careful. They are not food safe. So that is awesome. And then there's two sheets of white die cut hearts, three sheets of white banners, three sheets of striped vellum, four sheets of gold foil stickers, 24 mini wooden dowels, 12 yards of gold thread and 75 dimensionals and 200 adhesive dots. 
how can you go wrong for $20 people <laughs> I mean this is such a great deal and you can take these on the go I love I pick my grandson up on Friday afternoons and I like to take them in the car with me and I just put them together I have to wait 30 or 40 minutes because the line gets so long to pick up the children so that's one of the things that I like to do so let's go ahead and make one and I'm going to just do it following the instructions step by step so we are going to need some hearts and to stamp on white hearts now I don't know how many I'm going to need for one box but let me look I guess I just need one so there's I guess 24 in here I'm just going to leave all this other stuff I know I'll need a banner so let's take that out and I could set this other stuff aside I don't know how many of the gold I'll need a white banner you see everything's even cut for you ready to go ready to stamp that's why it's easy to take on the go and then here's um, one of our box this box already has the adhesive on it even isn't that adorable I'm super excited about this maybe these will go for my grandson's classroom we were gonna make some other things the other ones that I made with the little candy if you haven't seen my tutorial the little Valentine's I made with the candy hearts we were gonna make those but he may like these better I don't know we'll see so all right so stamp on the heart so I already took out my Calypso Coral because I always say the stampin spots and I give them away so I'm going to just use mine and I'm going to use get my clear black out here and I think I'm going to just write happy valentines I'm going to use this heart to outline and then I'm going to use the happy valentines day on the inside I'm sorry if you hear my dog I don't know why she's barking okay so we're going to stamp this little white heart I'm going to put something behind it so no, I should use my um, stampin' mat for this. This way I can see where I'm stamping and see if I can center this. Hopefully I will get it right. So let me get over it. This helps. Hopefully I got it on right. I don't think I did. No, nope. let me do the other side. I really need to stick my head over it. Let me see if I could pull it closer. I don't know if I'm out of camera or not, but I need to be able to see. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right, so then the Happy Valentine's Day, I'm going to stamp right in the center. So much easier when you stamp over it. And a lot of times when I'm stamping, I even stand up because I just I don't know it's a habit <laughs> alright so we have our little heart stamped and then it says add a gold a, a gold double heart sticker to the pointed end of the dowel so let's get our dowel out here oh that's what that is one end is the arrow and the other one is the little heart so that's what these are they're the little hearts for the arrow so we only need one and that goes to the pointed side so we just fold it over I just putting it right in the center and then just fold it over and make sure I get it even okay so we have our little arrow point there and then we need a the other side of the arrow and I'll do the same thing just center that in the middle and fold it over line up your edges Aw, look how cute that is adorable all right so that's the arrow and then said add the tail sticker to the end of the wood okay we did that already adhere vellum banners to white banner 
so I'm going to just use a little bit of my fast fuse for this so I don't have to so we're adding that to our look how pretty I love these vellum I wish they had this vellum striped vellum to purchase but all right and then it says it says using adhesive dots behind the pink stripes that's so you can't see it but you cannot see this uh, uh, using the fast fuse if you just put it at the top edge there all right then it says adhere adhere banners to bag but we didn't put our bag together yet so let's just go ahead and do that it doesn't really tell you how to put the bag together here but it looks simple enough I'm just going to sharpen all the score marks and it looks like it's a pretty decent side sized bag but it doesn't tell you exactly it has a little indentation here too so I'm going to fold on that because we probably need to so I'm just folding on all the score lines all right let's remove our adhesive I think this is going to be tucked under I'm not quite sure yet <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't show you the details of putting the bag together but of course they are pretty easy the adhesive is on the one side and we're just going to adhere it right here to the side and then these are going to fold in I didn't sharpen these. You should probably use your scoring tool for this. I'm just using my fingers, but it would be wise to use your scoring tool. And then the, there's even adhesive on the bottom. So we're going to move that adhesive there. Fold that over. And we're squeezing this together and the top part I don't know if we're supposed to remove that or if we just tuck it in I'm going to tuck it in no I think we should really have removed that but I'm not sure I think it needs to be a clean edge to make it prettier so I feel like I need to tuck it in actually when you do it in the beginning I would just score it and fold it in it would be a lot easier than trying to tuck it in yeah I think we need to just score it under before you do it because this is gonna be how the bag is just like that alright so then it says add three dimensionals to the back of the hearts and peel backing peel backing tassel gold ribbon on top of the dimensionals adhere on the banner so we're going to use this gold and I need to look at the picture again it looks like you're just putting it in the behind the heart like they say tassel it like just kind of make it messy I'll show you here in a minute if I can get to the gold thread I don't even see a beginning to it <laughs> just gonna pull a string out and get it started there we go alright so according to the picture oh yeah so let's put the dimensionals on the back of the heart I'll just grab the dimensionals they gave us and it says put three on the back and 
and then you're just going to grab some of the, it says 15 inches, we'll measure that out. So, whoop. 15 inches. And then it just says tossle it, which just means kind of roll it up like messy, like in your fingers. And it's very, very thin. So I'm going to just, and you're going to adhere it to the back because you want to see it from the front of the heart. So just tossle it, just like they said. So you can see it behind there. I'm going to put the ends in here too because I don't want to see the ends. And then adhere to the banner. So look how cute. That's really cute and it does add quite a bit to it. You Can you see it there? Then it says fill your bag with treats. Add arrow and seal with a heart sticker. Now, it says add arrow, okay, and it says seal with a heart sticker, so I need to look at the front again, oh, I got it people, this inside part, it's, you don't tuck it in, I didn't look close enough, you're going to add the ear arrow here, and then this folds over just like that. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> and then I need a heart sticker. And the heart sticker is going to go on the other side. I'm not going to add any candy yet, but this heart sticker goes on the back. There we go. Aw. Okay, stay. That's so cute. And then, let's see what it says. Probably last but not least is to add the banner. Oh, it said add, add, adhere the banner, banner before. Okay, so we're going to adhere the banner. I'm going to use, again, some fast fuse just to the top. right in the front like that and then the last is the add, add the arrow in the in the gold sticker look at that's so cute these are adorable so that's the little treat holder this year this uh, month for january paper pumpkin super cute these will be adorable and there's 24 in here you just can't beat it and it's a good size you can fit it quite a few like hershey kisses or something in here it's really cute so that's it, everyone. That's the paper pumpkin this month. Um, if you want to do paper pumpkin, you have to order by the 10th of the month, and then you receive that month's paper pumpkin. So you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com, and you can order right from my blog. So everyone, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.